All right then. Looks like we got ourselves a video spot. Guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? It is the 23rd Saturday, 7:47 p.m. I'm about to come at you with a fairly high energy video depending on, you know, a lot of different circumstances of what I can be able to bring here with the food I ate. To give you an idea, I ate the most terrible amount of food these past two days. All junk food. Literally, like, no food food. And I had cookies, I had chips, and I had more sugar and milk. And the only thing I really had of sustenance was milk, which gave me protein and calcium and food source. The rest was like two of those Pringle cans, except Lay's. Um, all filled with spicy chips, Mexican style. Um, also, I had a giant Mexican bag of red hot chips, kind of like those um, those purple bags for Doritos. Um, and I also had a whole tray of cookies, uh, in which case this was a 16 count. I ate 11 of those in one night. So all of this crap that is up in my body is going to affect every way of how I act and I know that. And I literally am deliberately choosing to store this junk and garbage inside of my physical means because I want to be able to block myself from moving forward to that next place in my life where I really want to be able to take advantage of having control. So I'm tempting myself and having these temptations fulfilled because I lure myself into it. That's the only time a temptation applies and I am killing myself from moving forward, which is completely unacceptable. The way to be able to move out of that situation is literally have the willpower to do so and follow a certain guideline and priority that you had set beforehand. In which case, if you want to be able to move forward in a prolonged state that is consistent and persistent in your dedications, you do need to have some sort of bounds and limitations as for how far you are able to go because without bounds there is no means. If you're unlimited and you have all this choice in, in the matter where you can be able to go here or here or anywhere, you want to be able to discern what's right and wrong. So therefore, if you don't have complete and precise willpower all the time to be able to discern which direction you want to be able to go in and you do need external forces and other things to be able to help you get out of that place hopefully you just have the right willpower to be able to do so so for me in particular you know I'm coming over here to edit videos I'm coming over to my mom's in which case for my own self-awareness I happen to know that going to my mom's is a state and place where I'm allowed to have fun, I'm allowed to goof around, I'm allowed to not give a crap about what other people think, who I'm serving, because I'm just sitting there doing things on my own time and basically either being bothered by the people or playing games and just messing around. And I know that it's a safe place when it comes to me easing and relaxing. However, I do still get stricken with a ton of negativity, in which case it's a very provoking, um, relaxed, negative state laid back, not going to move forward type of environment, in which case I don't want to be around that. Like I already decided months ago, weeks ago, that I don't want to be around an environment that's unproductive. I just need to go away and have my own pursuit so that I can be able to have control and not have to deal with anybody else's rules or expectations. And that's exactly what I'm placing myself into when I go back to a place that I know isn't going to serve me. And if I can't serve myself, then I can't be able to serve others, in which case, you know, I'm not owning that leadership mentality to be able to go out and create. The form or manner, I was not ready to be able to proceed. I was just in a place of, of greed. You know, being self-conscious of who I am and where I could be able to go, I wasn't negotiating with myself on proper terms to be able to move forward and flow, knowing and reflecting what does work and what doesn't work to be able to progress moving forward. I literally had three weeks of awareness documentations that I hadn't watched, and from simply watching about five and just feeling myself out, knowing what I was going through at that time. If I would have watched them every single day and posted the video, everything would have been clean and smooth and I would have enjoyed my life and continued to go on. However, I took it upon myself as work 
to post these videos, to be able to put up YouTube videos and create the thumbnails and create this whole amazing design to be able to have everything be glamorous when realistically speaking you watch the video it's torn up content that is just raspy it's like the, the audio isn't too great sometimes the picture is up here like it doesn't matter what matters is that I document this process and I'm being able to share my life and story tell and that's what I went into it for these awareness documentations were meant to story tell and reflect but I took on way too much of the priority to put it into work and have it be motivational material for you not reflecting on my daily life and how that ties into the rest of the world was my whole goal my whole goal was to tie it into the rest of the world and how it affects you so I didn't have my own time it became so overwhelming that I didn't want to continue to pursue it so you just gotta have fun and fulfillment in what you do to be able to move forward and progress and live in what's true and what's true to me is being able to have that fun just simply talking about my day and how this affects me and then being able to share that back with you and how something like that may affect you it's so much more constructive and strong and being able to create something productive so therefore I want to be able to do that and have fun doing it enjoyment fulfillment passion that's what matters that's what the awareness documentation is for it's for storytelling I kept on saying it multiple 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 times but I kept denying myself as well you know and then that one video I'm just like I'm just doing storytelling I'm just doing storytelling and there's these beautiful trees behind me you know and the, the audio may not be too great it sucked that that was not great it was terrible absolutely terrible so I am going to be able to get a mic and I am getting a presentation um, tripod to be able to do some how-to videos that will go in accordance with these why philosophy type of relevance and relational experience through what I'm going through in my story so this is more like a vlog and it'll get better in quality as time progresses as I learn and actually watch the videos the how-to videos are going to be presentations, how you can be able to apply this, and all how I apply it. So if I am applying it myself, then I'm going to be teaching you how to do just that. So I have to lead and take initiative. I also have to have accountability for being able to help you get there and responsibility for my own actions, duty, and obligation to be able to learn it myself so that I teach and I walk what I preach. I want to share that with you so that you can know and how you do. So, that is a massive struggle that I've been going through, just not being able to be in a constructive phase where I was disciplined enough to do my own ways because my integrity was being torn apart. If you notice the components that make you up, the small little bits of data that goes into your programming and who you are. Sometimes there are virus files that come flying your way and they get stuck on the outside and before they can penetrate and really dig in their roots and break down the whole motherboard, they sit on the outside, they tag and weigh you down and you're just really slow. The computer is slow. But once you are able to find those, identify it, and then remove it, then all of a sudden you have a functioning system that is able to move forward and progress at its original speed, if not better, because you corrected it and you found a better way to do it. And that's just where I was. I was doing something because I was upset with other people's expectations. I will admit, there were a few videos, even more, maybe even the past three weeks, that I was going through a process where I was thinking, oh, I've got to serve everybody. I've got to be able to bow down to everybody and make sure that they are all getting their worth. When realistically speaking, if you're going to serve somebody, sure you can serve the many, only those who are willing to take it and accept it. If not, then there's some sort of controversy and it's not even explainable as to why it's worth it. You really want to be able to serve the people who are going to be there leading with you, who are on the stage, in the presence, who are coming and welcoming your energy, your abundance, your brilliance, your obligation to be able to serve a greater community that wants to be able to serve a much larger community for a positive purpose that is going to transform the world. I think that if you focus on tiny people that don't contribute their relevance and productivity to your vision, then you just got to go all in on your own vision. So I found myself in a place of controversy and pain 
where I was doing something that just wasn't contributing to my own gains. Therefore, once again, it's violating your integrity, so I gotta make integrity part of my values. Although it is a part of my values, in which case I, I live in authenticity, I live in my real, I live in my holy feel. And essentially, if I allow anything to violate that, then it damages the importance of my own credibility. So not having my own will to take the right answers and allowing myself to take shit answers and accept other people's expectations of me, other people's point of view is going to interrupt my speed and progression to live through and carry out those actions with patience. So if you really want to execute, if you really want to create and strength and abundance, then what you want to do is not worry about other people's point of view, and just do you while serving for them too, okay? It's not serving everybody and catering to everybody's need, being the people pleaser. I find that that's a massive mistake that so many people make in their lives that just don't understand how simple it could be if you didn't get slowed down in all the complexity of doing something in positivity to move forward, to create abundance with the talents and gifts that you've been granted. Instead of doing and focusing on all the weaknesses, you should be focusing on all your strengths so that you can be able to create the most that you can be able to produce for the world and its own health too. <laughs> oh, like literally, if, if we were all our, our best versions of ourselves, the best versions of ourselves, absolutely positively, then I guarantee you the talents and gifts that we could be able to miraculously heal others with because we turn those into the best shift and possibility that they could be and then we decide to share them with other people and not worry about what they think would enable us to be a more productive society exchanging for positive currencies and results that are going to produce epic amounts of change because we chose to live in happiness, in fulfillment, in truth, in strength, confidence, courage, and love. So why are so many people confused with other people's point of view, bogging them down and not allowing them to do the things? Let's just say that by the time I am done with today, I'll have watched most of my awareness documentations, if not all, by staying up and taking on the toll of understanding who I am and what I've been through these past couple, these few weeks, all of June, and it is now June, what, 23rd. I just haven't been keeping in tune with myself, and it's my fault. I'll take full responsibility. What I need to do now is truly not slow down, not complain or make excuses within my own brain for any other reason, trying to make myself go insane, and just know that full throttle ahead, you can do it. Just love yourself for what you're worth. And don't focus on other people's point of view, trying to bog you down and hurt. Avoid the pain, focus on the gains, and you can win in all the ways that you find to love your strength. I'm sure that there will be a lot of, of great content coming up for Instagram TV. Now that I'm going to be presenting and actually learning how to do and sharing that, I did happen to po post in my group. In my Facebook group today, I posted like 15 units, a lot from Cardone University and a lot from um, personal awareness, uh, a lot of that important stuff that is going to help people contribute. Uh, I did happen to post three posts on Instagram and I did happen to post an Instagram TV episode. For some reason, I gain followers then I lose followers and I don't really understand but I'll be able to figure out more ways to grow in that command because I'm becoming the expert in my field. This is what my feed looks like right now, today, yay, 170 whatever posts. And I don't have super niche content, you know, but um, you know, I'm trying to work on that and just enjoying that passion and fulfillment, what I do, and heck yeah, stay true, that's what I wanna do. You know, it's, it's pretty good stuff. Like all these things that I posted recently, you know, I'm liking the people that I'm connecting with, 
I appreciate them very much, each and every individual. I happen to message them and let them know about IGTV's release and just trying to be able to support the core key people who are in my circle. However, when I reach out to a lot of them, they end up unfollowing me because I say, hey, join in this productivity on IGTV and I don't understand. I'm just trying to provide extra value. I didn't ask for anything for half of them. The other ones, I'm like, hey, you know what, I'd love to provide value. Would you check this out? And if you like it, subscribe to my YouTube channel or something like that. And then I'm like, oh, okay, that doesn't work. <laughs> so I tried something else, and then I tried something else, and that worked. So um, I really think it's, it's about not asking, giving without expectations. And then other people will be loyal, you know, and then they'll help you actually in the future. You know, like, hey, I happen to need this. Well, hmm, yeah, I like this guy. I happen to like what he said. Um, the other, like, 20 people, I don't know how many left, actually, but I lost, um, people just unfollow, they fall off. I don't understand, like, people that I've known for a long time, there's, like, nobody from South High School that follows me anymore, hardly. Like, all these people, they just disappear. Like, they join you and they disappear. They join you, they disappear. It's like you post with the same hashtags and they disappear. Like, it's so weird. Like, I know that Priscilla was with me for a while, ever since I was with Ashley and did our lives. But like Ashley, you know, we happened to fall out. We happened to stop talking simply because I happened to know something about her that was a vulnerability or a weakness. And nobody else knew, I guess. You know, just like, just some of the things that I've been through the previous experiences, I can be able to share that. I can be able to relate. And because I relate, I know your pain. Maybe I want to help you. You know, I don't know. It may or may not be for you. But in that case, hold off, hold off, hold off. I don't like what you're doing there. No. Okay, good night. Beep.